Matt Thomas here with another One Chart Lesson. Today we are looking at Rocky Raccoon, uh, a slightly lesser known but fantastic song by the Beatles, one of my favourite songs actually of theirs. Um, it's a very simple song, it's got a four part chord progression that goes over and over and over again with two little variations which kind of colour it up a little bit um, and a really nice simple strumming pattern. So what we do is we start off, I'm just going to show you this chord progression through and pretty much that's the way it goes throughout the whole song. So the chords we're going to need are A minor 7. Now this is basically, if you're not familiar with it, it's an A minor chord and the way we turn it into a minor 7 chord is by adding the note G. Now we can do that one of two ways. We can lift our finger off the G string, 2nd fret, so it's an open G string that adds a G to that A minor chord and turns it into an A minor 7. The other way we can add a G to that chord is by putting our pinky on the E string 3rd fret. And we can actually do both of those things. We can lift our finger off the G string and put our pinky on the 3rd fret of the E string. It's still an A minor 7, it's still written like an A minor 7, but it's got an even stronger sound than doing that. So that's our first chord. So A minor 7, D7 sus4, and then two beats into that or halfway through that bar, you lift your pinky off and turn the D7 sus4 into a D7. So it's like this. Then we go to a G7 and finish on the C. Again, halfway through this bar of C, we walk down to a C slash B. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this. This is the most technically correct way to do a C slash B. It's just basically lowering our bass note down to a B, which is what a slash chord means. The slash, uh, the, no the note after the slash denotes the new bass note for your chord. So a C slash B means a C chord with a bass note of B. So you can do that, take your bass note down one fret, but the easiest way and the way I think that they play it on the actual song is by moving your finger from the D string over to the A string second fret and playing that. Technically speaking, I think that might be a C major nine slash B, but we're gonna call it a C slash B. And you can do it that way or you can do it that way. And you can hear that they're very similar. But they do the same job. And that, that is to walk us down from the C chord back to the A minor seven. So that's our whole progression. I'm gonna play it through really slowly. A minor seven. D seven sus four. D seven. G7, C, C slash B, back to the start, A minor 7, D7 slash, D7 sus4, D7, G, C, C slash B, back to the start that progression goes throughout the whole song. So it's very easy to learn and memorize. You could call it a six chord progression, but it's really four chords with two little variations. If the variations are too tricky for you, don't put them in just yet. Work your way up to it. It really, it carries well just with those four chords. And again, instead of that D7, you can do a normal D, that's fine. These are little colorations that we put into this song to make it sound a little bit more interesting. The strumming pattern, nice and easy. You can do it with a pick or with fingers. With fingers, it might be a little bit easier. It's bass, down, up, down, up, down, up. Bass, down, up, down, up, down, up. Bass, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now with fingers, you'll play the bass with your thumb and obviously the strums with your fingers. With a pick, just it takes a little bit more movement. So with a pick, you're going bass, Strum, 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 bass, strum, 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 strum. When you hit that bass note, if you happen to hit a couple of other strings around it, it doesn't really matter. As long as you get that rhythm right, as long as you get that bom, chick, 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 bom, chick, 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 it's going to sound like the song. 
So this is how we do the chord progression all the way through with the strumming pattern, okay? One, two, three, four. Start nice and soft until you get control of that strumming pattern. Rocky Raccoon checked into his room only to find Gideon's Bible. Rocky had come equipped with a gun to shoot out the legs of his rival. His rival, it seems, had broken his dreams by stealing the girl of his fancy. Her name was McGill. But she called herself Lil But everyone knew her as Nancy that chord progression all the way through, that strumming pattern all the way through. If you change the strumming pattern a little bit here and there, absolutely doesn't matter. As long as you stay in time, as long as you change the chords in the right spot, it's all going to sound good. It's a great little song, it's very easy to play, it's very relaxing to play, so you don't want to speed up and go too fast with it. You don't want to strum too manically or anything like that. Just keep it nice and laid back and it's going to sound great. If you're ready to practice this song from start to finish with me, Click on the link below and go over to the play along track and we're going to do the whole thing from beginning to end. And if you're okay to practice this on your own, thank you for watching. I hope you found it helpful. Please uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications bell so you'll see uh, when, we, when we put up new videos, which is every week. And hope to see you again soon. Thanks a lot.